Hey, what's up everyone? It's Luca FPV here. Uh, I wanted to make a video today because I've been seeing a lot of questions online about how in the world to connect your receiver to your actual flight controller. So, I'm going to make a quick little video and show everyone how I went about that because there's a lot of information on how to build everything, but I really couldn't find much about actually connecting the flight controller to the receiver. Now, today I'm going to use this uh, X6B from Flysky. It does PWM, PPM, and iBus, as well as an SP Racing F3 uh, Deluxe Flight Controller. So, super actually simple if uh, I had found videos to explain how to actually go about it. So, if you take a look at this uh, receiver, you've got a PWM port, uh, iBus port right there, and a PPM port there. I know that this flight controller takes uh, serial on this side, on this UART here, and then uh, PPM on this side. So, you know, these it's going to be very different depending on what uh, receiver and flight controller you're using. However, the concept stays the same. So the first thing I did was uh, look at what the output was for this receiver. You know, just said PWM, PPM, and IBUS. And then look at where on uh, the flight controller, you're able to connect those. Next thing to do is actually go about that. So if I was going to do uh, PPM, I know that this one on the right here, maybe if that'll focus for me, says PPM. So it came with a bunch of connectors and cables, so you got to find the one that matches it. For me, it is this uh, small one right here. I can plug that in, got it upside down. What in the world? Alright, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then, uh, with the flight controller came a cable that I know is this one. Uh, had to direct solder everything together, because unfortunately there wasn't a, har a harness, I'm sorry, that came with both this connector and this one. Easy enough to do, if you're uh, alright with soldering. So, next, all you gotta do, plug this connector in your flight controller, there, and you're connected. The next thing you have to do if you're going to do that PPM is go into clean flight and change the settings there. If you're going to run a serial protocol such as iBus for FlySky transmitters, you're going to do the same thing but with your iBus here and whichever port on your flight controller supports serial. So I'm going to do the same thing, this is my iBus port maybe if it'll focus, there you go. I'm going to take my iBus port right here and plug it in to my UART here that is uh, mapped for serial. I think I got it upside down again. There we are. Now you can mount it however you'd like. I've got mine set on these standoffs right there. Uh, you forgive the quad, I'm in the middle of uh, upgrading a few things so it's not the cleanest it'll be. So, once you've got everything connected here how you'd like, uh, we're going to go into beta flight, clean flight, whatever you're using, and configure it there. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead now and plug it into the computer, and I'm going to be using beta flight, but the process is uh, basically the same for clean flight. So we're going to switch over to the computer now. Alright, we've got it up and running. As you can tell, I'm moving around the quad. So, you need to go into your configuration tab. Alright, so here you see your receiver option. Here is where you're going to pick what sort of uh, configuration you set up when you plugged it in. So if you were running uh, PPM, which is one of the, f the first options I showed, you're going to go ahead and click PPM and save and reboot. Then when you go into your receiver tab and you've got your receiver turned on, everything plugged up, you should be able to see uh, your pitch, roll, yaw, and throttle move around uh, corresponding with the transmitter. If it's a little bit different, however, if you're going to be running a serial uh, based receiver. So what you're going to do is go back into configuration, receiver tab, click serial based receiver. Uh, if you're running uh, FR Sky, I believe it's the S bus, and then uh, Fly Sky is the I bus. So S bus. Here's where you're going to go ahead and pick from the serial modes. I am running iBus. I will click iBus. Save and reboot. All 
All right, ready. Then you will go into the ports tab. Now, as I said earlier, I know that for my SP Racing F3, the tab that uh, takes the serial is UART3. So I need to make sure that my UART3 tab is set to a serial receiver configuration. Make sure this is on, save and reboot. And now when you go into your receiver tab, you should be able to see all your values uh, moving around with your transmitter. Alright, I hope that helped everyone. It's uh, It was a little bit hard for me to figure it out as everyone seems to explain how to actually put the quad together but not to do the simpler things like this. So uh, I hope you liked and uh, I'll see you in the future.